Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today I'm going to be showing you a few things that you can do through the YouTube Studio app. I'm going to be going over how to schedule videos. I'm going to be going over how to add to your description, add different tags, um, change the licensing if you'd like, the category, disable, enable comments, uh, go over age restrictions and things like that. So if you are interested, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. So the reason that I'm making this video is because um, finding out how to schedule videos really simplified my uploading process and I just want to share it with you all. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the YouTube Studio app downloaded. This is what it's going to look like, the app right there in the middle. So now we're back to the video. So this is the video that I uploaded. I believe I uploaded it yesterday. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, be sure to do that. But as you can see, I do have this video scheduled to go up or it was scheduled to go up on July 23rd, which was yesterday at 8 a.m. And so like I mentioned during this video, I'm going to be showing, showing you how to do a few things through this app. So as you can see here, you can edit, edit the description with the pencil icon. You can look at monetization with the dollar icon, and you can also go to the settings with the square icon. You can add to your description. You can remove things from your description. You can leave like your email and social media links. Also, this app gives you an option to uh, make your video public unlisted, private, or schedule your video. So like you can see on the screen, if it is unlisted, you can share the link with anyone that you know or anyone that you want to view the video. If you want it private, then you can choose who you allow to view that video. And of course, if it's public, then it's put out there for the public to see. But today I'm gonna be showing you, like I mentioned, how to make sure that your videos are scheduled. So you wanna go ahead and click the last option, which is scheduled. And right here, um, I'm going to show you in just a second how you can uh, choose your, your start day. So it has a calendar here. When you do click on scheduled, you can literally choose any month, any day uh, that's, that, that is to your desire. And you can also choose the time, so whatever time, and then you have an AM option and a PM option. So if you're someone that uploads your videos every day at 8 AM, go ahead and choose 8 AM. Whatever works best for you and your uploading schedule. Now this really helped me because like I mentioned in a lot of videos, you know, just having your day planned out, having different processes in place really helps to simplify your business and it really helps to, um, helps you take advantage of every, you know, every moment of your day. If everything is planned out, you know, this provides more structure for your day. Also, you can choose what playlist your video is going to be added to. So if you remember in the beginning of the video, I showed you that it was going to be a review on Taco Bell's fries. And so I'm going to add this video to the unboxings and reviews playlist. And like I said, you can do that right from your phone. Now, before I found out about all of these features, believe it or not, I was uploading my videos. I did use the YouTube um, studio app for like my thumbnails and for my to copy and paste my description, but I was not using my um, app for all of this. I didn't use it to schedule videos and I wasn't using it to, um, you know, change, check monetization or my settings or add the video to certain playlists. Like I was doing all of that through my computer. 
So there's nothing wrong with doing it from your computer because there still are some things that you do need an actual computer for, such as if you want to add ads in the middle of your video. I believe you have to do that through the computer because I, I haven't found a way that you can do that through the app. So if you do know a way that you can do, do that through the app, then please go ahead and leave a comment below. If you know anything else that you can do through this app, leave it below. On this channel, it is about you know sharing what we know. It's about inspiration, motivation. And so um, if you know something more, please, I'm, I'm inviting you to leave uh, any information below in the comments that's going to help us all. Now, another thing that you can do on this app is you can control your tags. Um, so recently I, I'm trying to think, recently I added TubeBuddy, I downloaded that. And so, um, well, before I get into TubeBuddy and, and that, let me just quickly show what's on the screen, explain what's on the screen. So right now it's showing that the video is scheduled. So you can see that, you know, scheduled for July 23rd at 8 a.m. Make sure that the time zone that is reflected is your correct time zone because when I first used this option, I selected 8 a.m., but it was not the right time zone. And so my video uploaded at 5 a.m. in the morning. And so um, I thought that was kind of funny. I'm like, oh, that's not what I meant. So make sure that not only the time looks correct, but make sure you are in the right time zone. And once you get done doing the scheduling, this is what you should see. This, this is kind of your confirmation. So I'm going to move to the tags. Now, like I was mentioning, I downloaded TubeBuddy. And this is an app that I, this is my first month using it. And so um, I'm still kind of playing around with some of the features and, you know, perks that come along with it. But it does give you an option to it help kind of helps you out with some tags. And the tags help like your... Um, optimization through your videos to, to help you, you know, get the most views out of your video and to optimize your video. And so sometimes with the tags, I draw a blank. Like, I'm like, I don't know what else to put. I put Taco Bell, I put fast food, you know, what else should I put down? And so, um, TubeBuddy really helps. It really helps with, um, adding different tags in. So once you download the app, you can go ahead and click on tabs, depending on the plan that you have tags, I'm sorry, depending on the plan that you have, and you can go ahead and just copy and paste those tags or have those tags shoot right over to your um, YouTube studio app. And so that's what I did. So as you can see right here, we scheduled the video, we chose the playlist that we wanted, we already have our tags in here. And this process just simplifies everything for me because I would go ahead and record a video and then I would upload it like the next morning. So I would have to get up earlier because I would try to have my videos uploaded no later than 10 a.m. So I would get up pretty early and um, get my children ready for the day. I would get ready and then I would start uploading because I know a lot of you can relate if you do upload videos on YouTube. Sometimes, you know, depending on your Wi-Fi connection, depending on the device that you're using, it can definitely take its time to upload. And so just having everything pre um just having everything like recorded and scheduled and just ready to go the night before really has helped me stay on top of my YouTube videos and just create an all around better schedule. Also, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you can choose um, what license you're going to have on the video. You can uh, choose to allow comments. Um, you can also choose, you know, if you want the video to be under entertainment, film and animation, gaming, how to and style music, you know, you can choose all of that right from the app. Now, I get some questions whenever I talk to people about YouTube. A lot of people are like, hey, how's your journey going? I bet you get some nasty comments, don't you? That's what I hear about. I hear all about the comments and I'm nervous to start because of the comments. I do want to say, you know, Thank God. Uh, typically, the comments that I get on my videos are not negative or mean. Um, this channel, like I mentioned, is about inspiration, sharing what we know, motivation. And so a lot of people that follow this channel, um, you know, are respectful. But, you know, occasionally you do get comments that are rude. And so if comments is one of your, your fears or something that's um, making you a little bit hesitant 
on hopping into the YouTube world. Uh, I just want to let you know that you can also disable your comments right through the app. It's highlighted green now because my comments are enabled, meaning anyone can leave a comment. But if I didn't want anyone to leave a comment on this video, then I can go ahead and slide the green, um, slide that, you know, option over to not allow comments. Also, you can um, choose who sees the ratings for your video. So if you didn't want people to see how many thumbs up you have or how many thumbs down uh, you have, you can disable that as well. You can also choose age restrictions. So if you are uploading a video that's not friendly for all age groups, then you can go ahead and tell the system that as well. So I'm not going to save any of the changes here. I'm going to go over just just maybe one more thing um, because I wanted to show you all that you can also change your thumbnails through this app as well. Um, I, this thumbnail that I chose here was actually a screenshot that I took from the video. If you do want more videos about creating thumbnails or adding different letters or words to your thumbnail picture, leave me a comment below. Like I mentioned, I'm not I don't know everything about YouTube or about, you know, uploading videos at this point, but I'm more than happy to share what I do know. So I'm going to um, show you, you know, how you can go ahead and change this thumbnail, for example, if you wanted to do that. So you'll go ahead and click edit thumbnail, and then it's going to give you like four different pictures that YouTube chooses. Um, or actually three pictures that YouTube has like in mind for you. And then you can go ahead and choose a picture that you have already saved on your camera roll. Um, I'm not going to show all four pictures because, well, the three pictures that YouTube chose, it was of my um, intro. And then another picture was a picture that I didn't want to use. It, I think it had like the food in my mouth and I really didn't want that for my thumbnail. So you can go ahead and choose what picture out of your camera roll if you already have something saved that you want to use for your video. So I think these, you know, tools, these, these options through the app are pretty cool because like I mentioned, it allows you to get everything up and ready for the next day without you having to wake up extra early and, um, or wake up, you know, or be at home when you have, you know, um, the piece that you're looking for to go ahead and really upload your video. So what I try to do is edit everything the night before I get everything ready and scheduled and then, you know, I'm good to go. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.